Hello everyone, my name is Av Khavash and today I'm going to help you to create your very first almost a billion parameter neural network with just a few lines of code. So why billion? Because neural networks are getting bigger and bigger because they want to imitate the human brain, such as this news where Microsoft researchers have created a 135 billion parameter neural network. There is another neural network which is in use 530 billion parameters or the soon to be released GPT-4 is going to have 100 trillion parameters that will be almost the 500 times bigger than its previous GPT-3 which had 175 billion parameters. So you could see that in order to achieve the imitation or the likelihood for a machine to act like human brain the neural networks are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you are new to neural networks and you would want to understand how to achieve the billion or billions parameter neural networks, this tutorial is exactly for you. Once again, my name is Av Khash. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do so because it's going to make me happy and it's going to make you happy. So for this tutorial, I am using the Google Colab and if you are not using the professional or the paid version of Google Colab, my environment and your runtime environment will be identical. So if I could do the billion parameter neural network like in this example, so could you. So it means that we both are going to have exact same environment. I already have the TensorFlow and the Keras related modules or imported in this tutorial. So it's already there and runtime is just clean. It means I have just started very first time. And I do have several other tutorials related with neural network. So one of my tutorial related with CNN had this simple CNN or convolutional network created. For example, so we are going to use this network definition and here is our network and it's the model CNN. So let's look into its network summary. So here is our network summary and it has about 62,000 parameter and this network starts with 64 filters and the kernel size is 3 by 3 and input shape is 128, 128 image with the single channel. So if you would want to check the parameter 640 here, you could actually calculate parameters here like that. So our kernel size is 3 times 3, okay, and then our input is here the input depth is times 64 and in tensorflow we are using use biases means that by default the bias is added based on number of input depth so we have 64 it means it's gonna be 1 times 64 so if we try to calculate this using calculator we are going to get 640 and that is our 640 parameters that's where we, we got here, okay? And then we are doing the max pooling. The strides of four, 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 four. Here divided by four would be the simple way to calculate your input size will be 31 by 31. And input depth is coming out from previous one, so which is 64. So that will become your 64 input size. That's why you are seeing here 31, 31 by 64. Next, we are flattening it. So flattening basically in this the parameters will be we are taking everything here so we are taking 31 times 31 times 64 equal 61505 61505 dropout because this 50 percent dropout is going to happen in the training time not right now here so we are still going to get exact same thing so parameters were still going to be the same so that okay and then finally our output layer is one there is a one neuron or one output so times one equals so that's here parameters so i want you to understand this whole math clearly because how we are going to achieve the one billion or almost a billion parameter there is going to be play with these numbers here so if i have one here and i want to make this bigger i can actually make 100 output which means my output from this layer should be in 100 classes and if we select 100 classes this parameter value will automatically become 6 million because we have added two more zeros to it and that's where it is so now after 100 if you multiply this six this will become 
two more zero and this will become your six million parameters if we would want to add one more zero 1000 classes so we have 1000 classes here now this should be 61 million parameter so so far mathematically we are doing correctly now remember we have to play with these number so that we could still stick with our design and we could still achieve the billion parameters and then the easiest way is that if you take this 64 filter which you have started with your neural network and what you could do is that if you double it down because if you double it down it's going to multiply this thing here and that's where the input and then next it's going to change this flattening too because that many numbers you have so for the sake of conversation we could take 128 and that's 128 is going to change all these numbers this number will be a new number at this input because that's where the input is coming into so this multiplication will also have the 128 let's do it if you look into here the initial 128 times 128 became 1280 now so we have 1280 here now the 31 times 31 times 128 is basically this is going to be 1 through 1 2 3 0 0 8 so we are right here so it means that 123 million parameters we have now if you would want to make this a billion parameter network so we could actually make that 128 is a 256. So we 256 conversion, this will make multiplication 256, this number will change. And this input will be used here. This input will be used here. And then after this number will change here. So let's try this one. Hopefully this VM or this virtual machine should not crash. And now you have 246. It means if we want to hit this four times we take this 256 and convert that to 1028 again this is for fun i just want you to understand the concept of billion parameters so i will make this two and i will change this to 1024 and then we will get a brand new number here let's do it looks not good crash not a problem this time we start from first line so we are creating our network architecture and there you go 984 million parameters which means that we have achieved almost a billion parameter uh, conceptually i gave you an idea how you could get almost a billion parameters in your neural network so that's how you are going to get your almost billion parameters if you would want to use this very simple CNN. It has convolution layer, it has max pooling, flattening, dropout, and finally output layer. So in general, we have exactly a convolution neural network here. Next, we will take a different example and perform the same billion parameter target. Take this simple example again, and this time we are going to have two convolutional layer in this example and in this example let's have the bigger image so 256 256 and we are starting with convolution okay and then pool size we can make this to two and i'm just coming into there so let's take this and use this a simple example and let me restart the runtime so we will get enough resources available for us summary and here you could see it's a 2 million parameter network where we are taking 256, 256 and 128 is our uh, filter and then kernel size is 3 by 3 here. So if we would want to calculate this thing, we can use the same math here. In that scenario, our math will be 3 by 3 times 128 plus 128 and that result will be 1280. So the input for the max pooling will be 256 remember because uh, we are using 3 by 3 kernel here so 256 3 by 3 is going to reduce two of them so it's going to be the 254 so that's why the input here is 254 254 128 now if we will now if we will try to calculate the input here so 256 256 and the kernel is your 3 by 3 so your shape will actually reduce to 
254, so it's going to be 254, 254, and then you are going to apply the pool size of 2. So 254 pool size will become 127. That's why you are getting this size is 127, 127, and 128 is coming out from this input depth. 127 times 128, and that's going to be equals 206, 4512. So that's perfect. So in this case, dropout is still going to be same, and here is going to be times 1 equals same. So this is 2 million parameters you are going to get. Now, if you would want to convert this to directly about a billion parameters, what we could do? Okay. Now, we are going to add one more convolutional layer in our network. And we have to do because most of the real, like a problem solving convolutional network, they come with two or more these convolutional layers. So what we are going to do is that we are going to add one more convolutional here and we are going to add more depth. So it's a 256 depth kernel 3 and the input shape will be the input shape coming out from the previous layer which will be this input which output this shape max pool will become the input for this and then we are going to just add the max pool exact same way to this layer as well. So let's use this and see what is our network size. Now you see that network size it initially it was 2 million parameter it became half and we could very easily calculate why it became half reason is that because here your kernel is 3 times 3 times your current is 256 plus now you need to remember you need to multiply this with 256 and your input depth is 128 so here is going to be 128 initially it was input depth was 1 so here 128 and if you multiply this the total should be 295 168 so that's 295 168 and at this point your input is 127 based on 3 kernel 125 and then pool size is 2 should be 62 so it's a 62 of 62 and your input is 256 so 256 now the flattening required here 62 times 62 times 256 and if we will try to calculate this 984064 for this will be same because we are not so this will be here total but this is a total coming here 1.2 so that's we can finally the final total for you is 1.2 million parameters now if you would want to make this whole network billion parameter you can just add output is 1000 classes let's restart the runtime one more time and Finally, we have not exactly but almost there. So you have whole 1 billion parameters available. Hopefully, it was a fun exercise. We didn't compile our network. We are just having fun. How you could achieve the billion parameters should be clear to you. All those parameters or hyperparameters is what decide your total network parameter size. So so the code related with this tutorial is going to be available at my GitHub repo named Python Projects. So let's export this Jupyter Notebook from Google Colab to GitHub. I do have my Google Colab is connected with my public Python Projects GitHub repo. And here it will be into this deep learning folder. And the folder name will be the billion params folders. So here is the deep learning folder and this billion params folder is created and this Jupyter Notebook we have just pushed from Google Colab to my GitHub repo so for you to enjoy and I hope that you have learned something from this fun exercise. Once again I do appreciate your time and I'm going to look forward to you in my next video. Until then thank you so much. Please like it, share it and subscribe it.